left insists that the president's executive order restricting travel is essentially a Muslim ban. It's not mentioned in the executive order, but that's the way the left is taking it. They're also taking it as a, as a statement that they're against all immigrants. Tony Perkins is with us, and we appreciate you being with us today, Tony, because I've got a serious question for you. Uh, as a Christian, mm -hmm. as a man of God, and that's what you are, <clears throat> how do you justify keeping out Muslims? I mean, I know it's not a Muslim ban, and I'm not for one moment suggesting that it is, but we are going to exclude people from mostly Muslim countries. How do we, how do, we do that if we're, if we're Christians? Well, st well, Stuart, first off, I, it, I find it interesting, the liberals that are... Uh, most applying this biblical standard, wanting to impose these biblical standards on our government, are the same ones who accuse conservatives of wanting a theocracy in this country. Look, and they're misapplying the scripture at that. The Bible, as it gives instruction on taking care of the stranger, never, never suggests that you indiscriminately let people into your country that want to do, your, do you harm. So look, what this is about, this is about those countries that have been producing people who want to undermine America, attack America, and we're simply saying, pause this. Let's make sure we're vetting them before we come into their country. You, you want to look at this in Scripture? Go to Nehemiah chapter 7. Nehemiah says, don't open the gates until the sun is hot, so we know who's coming into the city, and they're not people who want to do us harm. Okay, let me go back and rephrase the question. We've seen some of the immigrants who will not be able to come to the United States. They are genuine refugees, women and children included. How do we as Christians say, no, you can't come in? Well, again, Stuart, this is, it's, first off, it's temporary. This is not permanent. It's a temporary restriction, putting this process on pause because it has so many holes in it. And yes, there are going to be some innocent people that are caught up in this. But once we work out all the kinks and we have a system in place that ensures only those who be a part of the, the, the fabric of freedom of America come in, not those who want to unravel it and destroy it. And, and as, as, a Christ, as Christians, first off, this application of Scripture is to individuals and to the church, not necessarily to the government. Therefore, we do not have to let people into this country who want to harm us and undermine what we stand for as Americans. Well put. So, Tony Perkins, thank you very much for joining us this morning on a, a very difficult but intriguing subject. And we appreciate you being here, Tony. Thank you.